Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on all orders over $10 and support the channel at the same time. Hey there, it's John from Heroes and the Legends, and guess what? We have a box of Rivals of Ixalan. It says it right there. We're going to open this today and see what we get. I'm pretty excited. I haven't cracked packs in a while. I think it was unstable last time I opened a pack of Magic, and it wasn't that long ago, but it feels like a long time ago. And typically, I like to have, like, a fat pack available on the day the set launches. Unfortunately, I had trouble getting product. It wasn't that the product was, like scarce or anything like that it was just around me i couldn't find anyone that was stocking them including the lgs so <laughs> that's a little scary but um that's what happened so i had this actually shipped to me from where i used to live and um which is fine because i get really good deals from my old one of my old lgs <laughs> which is very awesome but uh anyway enough of all that let's get cracking let's see what's going on with these packs uh, I'll just go quickly through the commons as we typically do. Spend a little more time on, quickly on the uncommons than the rare. We have an Imperial Ceratops as our first uncommon. We have Swift Warden. We have Resplendent Griffin. Our rare is, well, we got a checklist card, but then we get a Storm of the Vault. Uh, that's pretty cool. I mean, value-wise, not a huge card necessarily, um, but it's a really awesome card. I'm actually pretty excited to try it out, so good start. I'm looking forward to trying that card out, maybe in Limited or casual casual deck so all right once we get going here i'll try to go a little bit faster so we can uh don't waste too much time okay get our first uncommon's woodland stream baffling end it's actually a pretty sweet card sometimes on the sideboard already in the new standard uh oath sworn vampire and our rare is <laughs> okay um oh here we go here we go wizards so we got two of these that's something um, that I didn't expect right off the bat. First two packs. Um, okay, sure. Well, all the packs I open, I do play limited with. So if I happen, happen to get those packs like in the same card pool, who knows? Maybe I'll have two of those to play with. <laughs> anyway, Mausoleum, Mausoleum Harpy. Uh, Deadeye Brawler. We have a Daring Buccaneer, and our rare is Brass's Bounty. I feel like I want to try this out in Commander. I think it would be fun in certain builds there, so it's actually a cool card. Not something I can really think of a lot to do in the world of Constructed, but yeah, it's it's just fine. Okay. Saw so Plummet go by. All right, here's our first uncommon. It's Pitless a Plunder. We have a Golden Demise. And Aquatic Incursion, our rare. Hey, not bad. It's a good rare to get. Called to Primal Hunger. Super sweet card. Uh, there's City's Blessing as well. So, yeah, that's an awesome card. Seeing play already in monster decks, dinosaur decks. Uh, really sweet. Interacts great with, like, Registrar Alpha and many of the other cards. So, you can get yourself a big trampled creature pretty quickly. Sometimes even with haste with the right interactions. So, uh, it's actually a very sweet card. I think it will see... Sorry, seen standard play. I think it will continue to see standard play probably throughout its lifespan, honestly. <laughs> Imperial Ceratops, Merfolk, Mistbinder, Sadistic Sky Marcher are rares. Our first uh, mythic, and it is the Immortal Sun. That's actually an awesome one, too, that I really wanted to try out. So that's cool. Magic the Gathering Skin Pack, now available for Minecraft. <laughs> How about that? All right. <laughs> Let's see what we have next. So I hope everyone got a chance to go out to the pre-release a couple weeks ago and had a chance to play with this. I played a draft. Uh, Imperial Ceratops, Enter the Unknown, Majestic Helioptorus, uh, and our rare is a Dire Fleet Daredevil. Actually, another really cool card there. So, nice pickups. Okay. We'll keep going. Oh. And, wow, I just really screwed that up. <laughs> I pulled on the back of the pack and it just didn't open. <laughs> that was kind of sad. All right. <laughs> I told you it's been a while since I cracked packs. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Okay, our first uncommon is Highland Lake. It's Forerunner of the Heralds. It's Pirate's Pillage. Our rare is Captain's Hook. All right. So far, so good. So we've already pulled a Mythic. That's always promising to see early on, and it was a really cool one, too. Um, I mean, I don't know what cards as far as, like, 
things I want to pull today. I mean, a cool foil is really probably what, it, what would be the best thing for to see on camera, right? Uh, Forerunner of the Legion. We have a Jungle Creeper. We have a Resplendent Griffin. Our rare is Dead Man's Chest. All right, and we have ourselves a foil Forsaken Sanctuary. Okay, we'll keep cruising along here. Now that we got the first few packs out of the way, I'll try to go a little faster. Okay, and we got our first uncommon here is C Red. We have Edzokan Seer, Forerunner of the Coalition, our rare is, hey, another one of the Elder Dinosaurs. This is Tetsamok Primal Death. And we have another foil in this car in this pack too, Raptor Companion. So another really cool card that has seen some standard play too. So if we're gonna get a couple of these dinosaurs, maybe two of the better ones to get. So it's actually pretty sweet. And uh, yeah, can't wait to try those out. So good rares. That's what's cool about this set. There are some really good rares. Like you feel like even if you miss on Mythics, like you could still get some really nice pulls. Like hitting a couple elder dinosaurs almost feels Mythic. Curious Obsession, Everdon Champion, Swift Warden, our rare is a Protean Raider. Okay, we'll keep going. That would be cool to hit um, perhaps Angroth. That would be cool, a foil one even better. I think that would be a fun hit to see. Um, Woodland Stream, Forerunner of the Heralds, Reaver Ambush, and a World Shaper. Okay, not bad, not bad. So. All right, keep going here. And yeah, as I was saying, I did get to do a draft. I went two and one. Um, I feel like I could have won the third round. I didn't draw particularly well. It's Oak and Seer, Famish Paladin, Aquatic in, um, Incursion. And oh, we got a foil. That's a mock. That's actually kind of sweet. So that's an awesome pull. I'll take that for a foil rare any day. That's awesome looking too. Look at that. Uh, that was a nice pull, so very happy. So our second Tetsamark, Tetsamark, this one is, of course, foil. And Golden Guardian is our actual rare in this pack. I'll show you the other side quickly, too. So, yeah, that's actually kind of a sweet card I want to try out as well. So, all right, this box is shaping up to be pretty good so far. Three Elder Dinosaurs. We got the Immortal Sun as well. Uh, and, uh, of course, one of those dinosaurs being foil. Yeah, that's not bad. <laughs> I'll take it. All right, Thunderherd Migration. Card seen a little bit of standard play too already. Dead Eye Brawler, Daring Buccaneer. Our rare is Induced Amnesia. All right. So yeah, I felt like if I drew better, I could have won round three of the draft. I drafted Merfolk, and it, it was pretty good. Like it wasn't the perfect Merfolk deck. I, I could have used maybe one or two more pieces, but it was pretty close. <laughs> it was really strong, and. Um, I just lost to, um, to, I can't think of the name of the card now. Maybe we'll open it. But the one that creates the Sapperling tokens, every upkeep, that's just a beating. Um, <laughs> Sky Marcher Aspirant, Riverwise Augur, Crested Herd Caller, our rare is Tilanali Summoner. Okay. Uh, yeah, that card, it will just, if you can't get rid of it, you just lose it, basically. And I had plenty of removal in my deck, both games that I lost to it, and I just couldn't hit the removal. So, eh, you know, what it is what it is, but um, it was actually pretty fun. I had a good time playing with it. It felt a little more fun maybe than just Exelon on its own. Jungle Creeper, Siren Reaver, Needletooth Raptor, our rare is a Deep Root Elite. That's a nice pull to get. See him play already in standard as well. Good Merfolk card to have. I did not have that in my Merfolk deck, which I did. <laughs> so, I had one of the Merfolk Lords. I didn't have Kamina. I mean, that would have been nice, but... <laughs> Uh, but you can't count on that. Um, a Mausoleum Harpy again, Forerunner of the Empire, Golden Demise, and we get a Bishop of a Binding and another foil. This one is Buccaneer's Bravado. Cool. So, yeah, I um, I had a good time with it, though, overall. I definitely want to play it again. I just haven't had a lot of time to do so, but maybe this week I'll get a chance. Even if it's just Magic Online, I want to try it again. Uh, Cherished Hatchling, Sil uh, Silver Gill Adept. This, of course, is a reprint. Pride of Conquerors. Our rare is a Wayward Swordtooth. All right. We are getting there now. I think we're about the halfway point, so I'm trying to go a little faster. I like to get this video um, maybe done around 15 minutes, but I probably won't have it. Forsaken Sanctuary. 
Forerunner of the Empire, Sadistic Sky Marcher, our rare. Hey, another one of the dinosaurs. This one's Atali Primal Storms, the red one, of course. So, not bad. We've hit three of them. We hit an extra foil of the one in black, and that's kind of awesome. So, <laughs> yeah. Still only one Mythic, though. Um, a good one. I'll take it. So, we'll probably see some more Mythics before this is over. Legion Lieutenant, Stormfleet Sprinter, Majestic um, Heli... <laughs> I always have trouble with this one. Helioptorus, I think. Helioptorus. And a rare is a Profane Procession. I want to try this card out, too. This card seems, like, super sweet to me. So, actually happy to pull that one. So, nice. All right, so we'll keep going. Two Storm the Vaults, too, at the beginning. That was kind of funny. <laughs> Wizards trolling us. We get the God Box of Storm the Vaults. All right, <laughs> Flood of Recollection. Forerunner of the Legion. All right, I'm back. I just lost my camera for a second, but it is back. All right, we were at Cacophodon, and our rare is Release to the Wind. Okay, so we'll keep going along here. It was just my uh, camera needed to... Um, I need more memory is my problem. So I'm working on it. I'm saving up for some better equipment, which will help the channel a lot. Um, <laughs> So, we'll get there. All right, our first uncommon is Pit Pitiless Plunder. We have a Blazing Hope, Dire Fleet, Neckbreaker, a rare. Hey, there's another Mythic, and it's a real good one, too. Rekindling Phoenix, that's super sweet. So, that's an awesome pull. <laughs> Very good Mythics. I really wanted the Immortal Sun to try out, and this one, of course, seen tons of play already in Standard. The cards like are just really awesome. So, uh, nice pulls. Very happy. We got an Emblem, too. Watley Emblem. Okay. Let's keep going. Before I run out of memory again. <laughs> Hopefully this spring or summer I'll be able to get some better equipment and turn the uh, <laughs> turn the technology up a notch here on the channel. We have a flood of recollection. Stormfleet, Swashbuckler, Replen Repl Resplendent, Griffin, and... Okay, another Tetsumak Primal Death. Okay, it's our third one in this box. Now, it is a small set, so these things kind of happen sometimes. Um, one, of course, was a foil, so it kind of makes sense, I guess. Um, and then we have a River Darter as our foil, so it's actually kind of funny. Um, but you do sometimes get two of the same rares in small sets when you open a booster box, so then throw the foil on top of it. Yeah, it makes sense. We got two Storm the Vaults as well, of course. It was just weird that they were in the first two packs. That was strange. So... <laughs> So we may see some more repeat rares. I mean, I'd be happy with another Phoenix. Uh, Relentless Raptor. <laughs> Baffling Ends. Oh, Sworn Vampire. Oh, that's the card I was trying to think of earlier. Tender Shoot Dry Edge. Yeah, this thing is a beating and limited. If, if your opponent can't get rid of it, trust me, I can speak from experience. Um, yeah, you're probably winning the game with this thing. It's super sweet. So <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, so we got one of those. But... Um, yeah, now, unfortunately, the Phoenix being Mythic, we probably won't see another one of those, but I don't know, we might get it. Well, we'll probably see at least another one or two duplicates of rares. Uh, Cherished Hatchling, Charging Tuscadon, Arterial Flow, our rare is Mastermind's Acquisition. Okay. Starting to get down there. Like, uh, like, oh, maybe not that. Four, eight, 12 packs, maybe? I don't know. The final third of the box or so. And our first uncommon is Blazing Hope. Shake the Foundation. Oh, I skipped an uncommon because I see our rare, and it's a Planeswalker. Um, I skipped Strength uh, strength of the Pack. But who cares? Because we got <laughs> Angrith the Flame Chain. This is a pretty sweet box. Three Mythics, all really good ones. Another card that's seen a little bit of standard play, sometimes out of the sideboard, it seems. Uh, good, good for aggro decks, though. I mean, it's a good card, like a Rakdos aggro-type build. Um, yeah, I'm excited to get this. This is really awesome. So, cool. Third Mythic. Um, I mean, maybe you don't hit any more Mythics in this box, perhaps. If that's the case, it's still a great box. I'm, like, happy with this box if we stopped right here, quite honestly. <laughs> um, fantastic box today. Okay, so we got Relentless Raptor. We got Stone Quarry. We got Pride of Conquerors. Our rare is a Radiant Destiny. Another card I want to kind of try out. Seems like it could be sweet in some builds. All right. Keep going here. 
I mean, if we do hit another Mythic, I mean, wonderful, but... <laughs> but even if this is a three Mythic box, they were good ones. All right, Woodland Stream, Siren Reaver, Needletooth Raptor, our rare is... Hey, this is a fourth Mythic. Azor the Lawbringer. And this one might not feel quite like a utility Mythic, like, say, the Phoenix, but... This is still a really cool card that I want to play with. I think this could be fun in Commander, actually. So, yeah, and it's Azor. So, I mean, that's kind of awesome, too, <laughs> from a lore point of view. Really interesting character. So, like that we finally got the card with Azor. All right. Sea Red, Charging Tuskadon. Arterial Flow, our rare is a Silent Gravestone. Good sideboard card. I actually saw a few folks playing that out of boards. I think to deal with um, Gafiro's Gift, of course. And I guess depending on how well that deck does in the coming weeks, uh, we may or may not see more of that in sideboards. All right, Hornswoggle. Everdon Champion, Forerunner of the Coalition. Our rare. Hey, is a journey to eternity. I'm glad we got this one. Like, this is another card I just really wanted to play with and try out. So, this is cool. Good uh, transform cards today, too. Overall, just great box. All right. And we have a Strength of the Pack, Crested, Herd Caller, Admiral's... Oh, I skipped one again. <laughs> Admiral's Order is our rare. What did I skip? Forerunner of the Empire. Okay. But Admiral's Order, actually a pretty sweet card. So there we go. Another card that's come on a sideboard so far. And Gilgrove Stalker is a foil as well. So getting all the big pulls. A lot of the cards that have seen play. Haven't gotten um, the Double Explorer Merfolk yet, though. Of course, it's one of the big cards. Actually, have we got it. We haven't got a Chupacabra either, which is a uncommon. Hmm, what's going on with that? <laughs> all right, Hornswoggle, the Stormfleet Sprinter, Majestic Helioptorus. And a Tomb Robber. Okay. I mean, unless I missed it, but I mean, I've been reading the uh, commons, so I really don't think we got one. Which is weird in a small set, too. You think we would get, get one in a booster box. <laughs> so, oh, whatever, I guess. Curious Obsession, Merfolk, Mistbinder, Majestic, Helioptorus. We got plenty of those. And <laughs> Dire Fleet, Poisoner. That's actually a sweet card, though. I'm happy we pulled that rare. All right, we got like four packs left, I think. Try to go quick because I'm going to wrap this video up so you can get on with your day. Uh, we got Blazing Hope. We got Famished Paladin. We got Aqu Aquatic Incursion. And we get another one of the dinosaurs. This is Zatelpa Primal Dawn. So we got the red, the white, three of the black, and one of the green. So we're just missing the blue. <laughs> so that's not bad. <laughs> three of the black and one of the green. So, yeah, it's, actually, this box has been amazing, actually. I'll be, I'll be happy even if we don't get any Chupacabras. All right, <laughs> we got Mausoleum Harpy, we got a Reaver Ambush, is that Ambush, Ambush, and Raging Regisaur, a rare, is a Warclight Marauder. I've seen this getting a little bit of play in favorable, favorable, it's easy for me to say, say <laughs> favorable wind decks. All right, two more packs. So we ended up with four Mythics, nice foil rare, a lot of good rares, pretty happy, some of the best Mythics too. Uh, Forerunner of the Heralds, R Riverwise Augur, Sadistic Sky Marcher, our rares. Hey, a Blood Sun. I forgot about this one. Yeah, that's a sweet card, too. Uh, another one I like to kind of try out to see how it plays. All right, final pack. Can we hit a Chupacabra is the question. Whole box without a Chupacabra. In a small set, too. That would be weird. Stone Quarry, Stormfleet Swashbuckler, Cacophodon, our rare, is a Path of Discovery. And we got a foil mountain to wrap things up in a city's blessing. So that's our booster box. Um, I'm going to open some more product on the channel coming up. Um, I'm going to try to do another booster box. I'd like to do a fat pack uh, if I can get a hold of one of those at some point. I also do have some pre-release kits coming. So I'll do like a, uh, a deck build with those once I get them. So hey, until next time, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe. Have a great day. 
Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible by the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store, where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon, and have a great day.